hey beauty welcome back to my channel welcome back to fabulous triple b on today's video we'll be discussing about skin types i know lots of us does not really know the kind of the type of skin we have and there is this um misquotation of our skin types like um for example some of us have um dry skin um then we call it some other skin type one um, some of us has have combination skin type but we really does not know what category our skin type fall on so on today's video i'll be enlightening you about um a particular kind of skin type which is the dry skin um i want to let you know that there is difference between a dry skin and dehydrated skin that will be our main topic for today in, in my other videos i'll be discussing about oily oily skin but on this particular video we'll be discussing about dry skin how to identify dry skin um how to based on how to maintain dry skin to give you that glowy look to uh, the the product types which will prevent you from having these fine lines and wrinkles which is prone to dry skin and also the treatment plan now um and also how you'll be able to identify dehydrated skin so if you are an esthetician in um, still in a beauty school but you usually like confuse even me myself i do when i was starting up i do mis misuse or misquote dry skin as dehydrated skin and vice versa but now i'll be realizing you on how to identify difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin if you if you are interested in this video please um continue watching and if you are not interested you can move to the other video difference between a dry skin and a dehydrated skin and what firstly what is dry skin dry skin is as a result of under um on the active sebaceous gland yes like what i mean by that is when um this the gland that is um, responsible for the secretion of this sebaceous um sebaceous which is like oil in our body it's not as if it's really like it's it's caused mostly by many uh, environmental factors or the kind of so products we use on our skin and it is mostly hereditary so so for example hi myself i'm a dry skin type so um i'm always when while i was younger well i didn't really know about ingredients and how, you know, how to maintain my skin well when i haven't even come to this um skincare line or, or anything i used to have this eczema the reason why is that while I was younger, um, I do have I do bait with um, lemon, like lemon, like I used to add some lemon into the water, which my mother does while I was younger. So, to her, lemon helps to like exfoliate and brighten the skin. But for me, as a dry skin type, I really don't needed much alkaline in my return so the more alkaline i have in my return in my skincare return tends to dry the skin even more which actually leads to the break of eczema so when i was growing up um, i needed to like look for a search and uh, gain knowledge on how to actually cure the eczema i used to have in my body so which i which actually led me to knowing and being being interested in skincare and everything before going into beauty school so like i said like i said ash chemicals lead to dry skin so what as an esthetician as a beauty therapist what would be your number one goal in treating dryness of skin Number one, you have to put in mind that you needed a very gentle cleanser, very, very gentle cleansers, a very hydrating mask, um, that is a um, mild mask, not um, something drying, and you needed a very hydrating serum and moisturizer, which much of massage, 
so facial massage in the treatment good tone so not that much of but a, a little like more of massages so you would actually massage in those moisturizers into the skin which would actually helps in the surface drying like in the surface area which which you won't feel that much tightness and and all of that so even the con the weather like the climate change is also causes dryness of skin because during the amateur period my skin is most most like tends to more of dryness so like no matter what i mean by that, because me i mean i mean i i am in nigeria i live in nigeria so so we have this period which there's much of hamatan like less of humidity so there's this dryness of overhaul dryness going on so people with drier skin suffers mostly during those periods so we all needed a very moisturizing hydrating cream serum so now what is dehydrated skin dehydrated skin is a lot of sebum which is oil on the surface of the skin now the difference between dehydrated skin and dry skin dry skin is the um on the active precious gland so there is difference between the two and oily skin can be dried can be a dehydrated skin because um oily skin yeah you know it produces more of sebaceous there's this more of activities in the sebaceous gland but the dry skin there's lots there are like lower lower activities going on there so but people with oily skin we are okay reasons why people with oily skin could experience dry dehydrated skin is that one the intake of water they really they, they really don't take um lots of water which actually causes dehydration in their skin which is even if now now imagine if someone with dry skin is also dehydrated so can you see how so people with dry skin tend to should take lots of water so the same thing with people with oily skin so even even if you have oily skin that does not mean you won't take lots of water you should, you all skins are needed lots of water and moisture yes because when there's this less moisture like when there's lots of moisture in the skin it actually causes dehydration so for you to have for you not to have dehydrated skin you should also keep away from like even even if you have an oily skin that does not give you the tendency to like using of use ice cream using um using mixture of two or more um dry drying agents or chemicals that will further dry your skin or might um disorganize the hormone in your body system which which includes the, the specious gland because once that is tampered with we all know it we are going to like a very critical condition we should not want to be part of like would you would want you would you would not want to experience so people with dehydrated skin is is also caused by um climate change now i also i talk about amatan so people with oily skin also have this dryness going on during amatan period that's if you are in nigeria have this kind of dryness also going on because the surface of the skin is actually dry but that does not mean there is no there is no specials like uh, specials um, activities going on it's still going on but there is this dryness on the surface people tend to like uh, mix dehydrated skin to dry skin which is totally wrong people with dehydrated skin could easily be corrected by like i said taking of water using a gentle um cleanser using um dry uh, using hydrating serums and cream and also um bad um routine could also cause dehydration in the skin so like i said as an esthetician you should be able to identify the skin type of your client your client skin type and the skin condition 
so with the skin condition skin type you'll be able to like achieve a better result which which your client your client is open or aiming to so so in conclusion even if you are you have this dry skin you have oily skin you have dry dry skin in conclusion what we all need is is our diet we should make sure we take lots of water because water would help in in um digestion because if your food or whatever you've eaten is not easily if, if it's not properly digested it actually shows in our body because even our skin is also a means of excretion so we want to start purging out in our purging out letting it show in the surface of our skin because even i myself i don't make sure in the midnight i i do take water i do wake up in the midnight to take water at least if even if i have not even eat even if i heat i didn't heat i must make sure i take water water intake is very very important number two your skincare regimen your routine should be very hydrating if 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 you have dehydrated skin or a dry skin your skincare regimen should be very hydrating you should use a very calm gentle cleanser not foam because foaming cleansers are tend to dry the skin further um, you should use like okay your max like i myself i do use this jelly max which is hydrating also i don't use a a dry max like a dry max like a clay max i'm not saying clay max are not good but i myself i personally i don't use that i prefer using a jelly max which is which leaves the skin hydrating then i make sure i use hydrating serums because there are some serums also that leaves the skin dry depending on the formulation so and also moisturizer of course so always make sure you know the perfect ingredient ask your esthetician ask your skincare therapist to identify your skin types and let sure you need to to gain or have information about your skin and how to maintain your skin thanks so much if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and my next video i'll be talking about other skin types skin condition and how to maintain